In today video we are going to design design the warm gear with the teeth so first of all you have to make sure the units are in inches go to sketch you have to open the sketch on the front plane open the sketch on the front plane and select the circle so the center will be on the origin so draw a circle then again go to the origin or the center of the circle so these two center must be concentric and now we needed to add the dimensions so the bigger circle has the dimension of 2.25 and the inner circle is going to have the dimension of 0.625 so now our sketch is complete at this point exit the sketch and now we have to go to features and extrude this sketch so you have to define the direction and the thickness for the direction instead of blind we are going to use the mid plane so the extrusion will be uh, on the both side with the reference of this plane this middle sketch or the plane so the dimension the depth will be one so now now we we have uh, we extruded the material we added the material on both side with the reference of this plane or we can say the sketch so 0.5 uh, material is added in this direction and 0 0.5 material is added in the other direction check mark so this this is our base feature a simple feature which is our base feature next we have to open the sketch on the right plane click on the right plane this uh, tab will open so select the sketch now we open the sketch on the right plane and we simply have to draw a circle here so the center must be uh, in the mid middle of uh, uh, this edge so you just have to select the circle and move your cursor on this edge it will activate this midpoint and draw the circle the dimension of this circle is 0.625 so the sketch is fully defined because our center is in the uh, middle of this this edge in the mid of this edge now go to feature and use the revolve command so basically we have to define a center line for the reference for the reference point of of the revolve cut so we want to cut this uh, this sketch this circle with the reference of this uh, line center line so that's way the sketch is cutting the material revolving and cutting the material so this is uh, our uh, final shape here after the revolve command now we have to uh, open this sketch and on the right plane and draw simple sketch so go to right plane open the sketch and we have to draw a sketch so first we draw a center line like that and again a center line like that and then we have to add the sketch so uh, make sure your pointer of uh, the line must be coincident with this edge like that like that like that so this is a random sketch now we need to define the dimension so from this point to this this point this dimension is given as 0.4 and we want this line must be vertical like that and the second dimension we have to define it 0 0.25 like that go to the smart dimension select this point and this reference line and add the this is the radial uh, uh, radial dimension but we want to add the diameter dimension so select this point and this reference line and move below to this reference line it will uh, give you the diameter dimension so this dimension is 2 and again select this point 
and this center line and add the diameter dimension and this di diameter dimension is one so now we have defined fully defined this sketch next to use the mirror and internities we want to mirror we want to mirror these internities and mirror about we want to mirror about with the reference of this center line so we have this sketch exit this sketch and now again we are going to use the revolve cut so it will ask about the axis of revolution so this will be the our axis of revolution for the revolve cut so it will uh, cut this inner material now we have to use the chamfer go to fill it and select the chamfer and we have to define this dimension so the first dimension is 0 0.1 and the angle dimension is 45 and item to chamfer we have to select the um, edges which we want to make round or add the chamfer so this edge and this edge we added the chamfer next add the fillet so go to fillet define the fillet radius it's 0 0.0625 and for the fillet we have to select this face and we have to select this face so the fillet will be added next we have to make the cut for the key key ways so open this sketch and rotate this model and make sure you selected this face and now we have to add the center line like that uh, sorry the rectangle like that and just define the dimensions so the dimension of the width is 0.188 and for the total height we can make sure it must be higher than this edge so select this line press the shift and select this edge so we have to give this reference dimension is 0 0.084 so from this point to this this dimension is 0 0.084 next we have to add define a relation so select this line press the control on your keyboard and select this region and we want to make this line in the middle of this region so select the midpoint relation now the sketch is fully defined exit the sketch go to feature and extrude cut and we want to make the cut through all so we uh, we make the uh, gap or we can say the cut for the key base so this uh, one gear must attach with the shaft we can define the material here now we have to make some changes and so we can add the we can add the um, teeth so let's move to this this point where we are going to add the teeth so this is the first step no second for the second step we are going to add the teeth so i am going to change the fillet so to make this uh, size smaller 0 0.03 one and now we needed to make changes in this revolve cut in this sketch this is the original original sketch now we are going to make the changes so this is good this is 1.5 okay and we are going to delete this one we are going to make this line smaller Delete this line and this line. Like that, we have to define this dimension. So this dimension is point one. We have to define the total length of this cut. It's point four. delete these lines again use the mirror select these lines which we want to mirror it mirrored about this 
reference line exit the sketch the error so here the face is missing so this face is selected now select the other face Okay. Now we have to make a reference plane uh, with with the reference of top. So reference plane first reference will be the top plane uh, top plane and we have to define the distance. So distance is 0 0.95 like that. and open the sketch on this new new plane plane one select the sketch and make sure you selected this plane one and now we have to draw a center line a vertical center line and then go to the line command and select the middle line midpoint line so this will be the midpoint and like that we added this line next add the angular dimension between them so angle between this reference line and this mm, midpoint line is 7 and now we have to define the uh, dimension between this edge and this point so this dimension is 0.5 okay exit it now we have to add a plane so I am going to hide this plane and again we have to add a plane for this plane we have to select this line like that select this uh, line this point and for the second reference select this line so a plane will be added like that perpendicular to this line and coincident with this point okay now the new plane is added now we needed to add another sketch on the on the right plane we want to we want to add some material here so right plane open the sketch and add a corner rectangle and for this rectangle this will be the first point and here we have this this second point so from this point to this origin this dimension is 1.7 divided by 2 like that and we make sure this line and this edge have a relation of collinear so select this line and select this edge and add a collinear relation between them so this line will be on this edge okay next we have to make sure uh, this this point must be coincident with this edge so press ctrl select this point and this edge and add a relation coincident between them So now we have to we have to we also needed to add a center line. So center line center line will be added like that, and we we have to use the the wall command. exit the sketch go to features and use the revolve cut so material will be all the material uh, which is within this uh, sketch will be cut so final finally we will have a shape like that now we have to add the add add a sketch on this plane so open the sketch on this plane 
and we have to define this profile so first of all i am going to draw a profile like that and we have to define some center line so between this center and the center of this line so this line is connected with the center point the midpoint of this line and this line and then we make this line a vertical line again draw a center line from this point to this point any of these point but must be coincident with these two line this line and this line this line is in the midpoint of this line and this line so you have to make sure all the relations are added next select this line and we have to define 0.185 like that and this one is 0 0.055 and from this point to this point this dimension is 0 0.075 and from this point to this point this dimension is 0.118 okay now we have to add a relation so basically we want make this select this point this point and this origin coincident so select this point and select this origin and add a relation of coincident like that So now it is fully defined. Next, simply we have to add this step to add to to add this here a teeth. We are going to use the swift cut. So this will be the our file. K7 will be file, and for the path, we have to select this this line. And now you can see we added a cut next simply we select this cut and we have to use the circular pattern and for the direction one we have to select this this circular surface and we use the equal spacing and we have to add 22 copies okay and hide this plane now you can see we achieve a warm gear with the teeth and next we simply have to make the fillets so go to fillet add the fillet dimension so this one is 0 0.015 and we have to select this feature too and we have to select this cut revolved and it will add the fillets to all the surfaces so this is the final design of the warm gear with the teeth this is the final shape which we we achieved that thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you have any question or something is missing please let me know